We're going to talk tennis now, and for that, we'll head to Florida. While it offers professional instruction in a number of sports, IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida is best known as a tennis factory. Child prodigies such as Andre Agassi and Jennifer Capriati developed their games here, and now there's another rising star who may soon join the proud list of alumni. 15-year-old Whitney Osigwe has grown up at IMG while her father Desmond has worked there as an instructor. Whitney defies odds in the sense that um, coaches are out on the court and they're wanting their, their players to play percentage tennis. And, and Whitney is a very smart player, but she's also willing to take risks. Um, I can remember uh, when she was in the finals of Easter Bowl, uh, I was 14 and under out in, in Palm Springs, and she was in the finals and she was down 5-2 in the third set. And most coaches would say, you know, keep a lot of balls in play. And then you have Whitney that's behind the baseline, ripping backhand down the line winners when she's down match points uh, for the tournament. So she's willing to take risks, and I think that's one of the greatest things about Whitney. That will to win is something that all the great ones have in common. Growing up around the sport, Whitney naturally gravitated towards the court. From beginning, I think it was what we, we kind of used as a recreational, enjoy doing for fun. Then it became a competition for her between her and the brother. You know, then it translated into uh, something uh, she progressively started liking and uh, enjoying. Well, I like being individual a lot, and so knowing that I can make something for myself really like attracted me to it. Because I don't like team sports as much, but yeah, and the competition of it, obviously. I think how it brings everybody together and like it gives you a life of its own and like you meet new people, go new places and like you form like better relationships that most people don't get to have in their lives. Though she's not old enough to drive a car yet, she's already accomplished quite a bit in her young career. At the 2017 French Open, she became the fifth American tennis player to win the girls title. She'll be the first to tell you that training at a world class facility has allowed her to dream big. Well I've had more opportunities than most people have had. I mean the facilities here are great and the people I've worked with Margie since I was younger along with my dad obviously and I've worked with multiple fitness coaches, mental coaches, nutritionists and I even go to the school here so the teachers have helped me when I travel and everything just works out perfectly for me here. I think it's a dream for any kid to come to a facility if if they love tennis and and their dream is to be a professional tennis player I mean this is the, the heartbeat of all tennis academies it was the first academy that was really uh, truly established uh, in the 70s by Nick Volatari and the energy and the, I think the history here is you can feel it when you walk around here all the hours of tennis from Sharapova, Serena Williams, Andre Agassi, greatness has been here you know and so I think that's a, a dream for any kid to be able to come here. While some students may come to IMG focused mainly on sports that's simply not the case for Whitney. She's at the top of her class and even skipped a grade due to her high achievements in the classroom. She's also one of the youngest every time she steps on the court, but does a great job of balancing the demands on her time. The pressure's on them, not on me, and I think I've always been around people older than me, whether in school because I skipped a grade or here I'm G because I've always played with the older girls, so I'm kind of used to it now, but I think they get more nervous than I do. You're in an environment where kids around you are all aiming for the same thing that you want a piece of and I think uh, you definitely never get bored here because you know that there's uh, players that are always better than you or players behind you that are that are pushing you uh, from the bottom so uh, definitely the competition is the number one thing here from all over the world from all different cultures um, growing as a tennis player here and becoming the best tennis player but as you can see on the Pro Tour, character is a huge part of being a champion, and I think this place can build your character here. No doubt that experience has helped Whitney become one of the most promising young players in the world. Only time will tell if she can reach her goals, but those who know her best won't be surprised at all if she does. The difference with her work ethic over the past few years is the quality. So she's on the court for a shorter amount of time, but she has raised her intensity and quality. Uh, there's not a day that goes by that, that Whitney doesn't give everything she's got. I mean, she's one of the hardest workers, and uh, that's also what has pushed her to the top.